Welcome back to the King's Corner, the place for all things Bethesda. I am the King Fan Man. We are just hours away from Bethesda's E3 showcase, and the excitement is so high you can almost feel it in the air. And the biggest question the fans have is, will Bethesda Game Studios give us more than one game this year? Well, I will tell you what I think, plus I will tell you all the probabilities and most of the possibilities. But I have to say first, just as I've said before, we have never known so little about, number one, a Fallout game going into E3, or, number two, about anything else that Bethesda Game Studios may give us. Just think back to 2015. At this time, we had already seen gameplay, the world, the city of Boston, the building system, and much more about Fallout 4. Well, what have we seen about Fallout 76? We've seen the vault. That's all. We haven't seen gameplay. We haven't seen the world. We haven't even seen any other people. So the speculations about Fallout 76 are all over the place because that's all we have is speculation. So I am really looking forward to finding out more about Fallout 76. But that's not what this video is about, so let's get to the subject. Will Bethesda Game Studios give us more than one game at E3 this year? Well, the simple answer is yes, no doubt. We will get more than Fallout 76, and I'm talking about from Bethesda Game Studios, not from all of Bethesda Softworks. The question is, though, how much more? Now, I'm going to try to make this very simple. I will start with the least amount of games we can expect to the most, and I'll explain why those possibilities will happen. Okay, number one. Obviously, we are getting Fallout 76. That's a no-brainer. We've already seen that. And we will start there. Okay, we know that the Maryland studio and the Austin studio worked on this game together. That's a fact. We know the Austin studio did the multiplayer for Fallout 76. That's a fact. What we don't know is how much the Maryland studio did. Is this game mainly a multiplayer, so it's Austin's game? Or did both studios work equally on it? In this first possibility, we will say this is the main project for both studios. In that case, Fallout 76 will obviously be the main game shown at E3. It means Fallout 76 will be huge, bigger than Fallout 4 with both single player and multiplayer options. And if this is the case, I think we will get a Fallout themed mobile game from the Maryland studio. Okay? That's the least option. We get one major game and one mobile game. Now, option number two. This possibility means that Austin did most of the work on Fallout 76, leaving the main Maryland studio much more time to finish their long-awaited new IP, Starfield. If this is the case, it means Fallout 76 will not be near as big as a normal Fallout, being mostly a multiplayer and leaning heavily on the building and survival gameplay. Now, if Bethesda Game Studios Maryland reveals Starfield, then Montreal will still give us a new mobile game, but this time it will be a Starfield-themed mobile game, just like we have seen in the trademarks. Instead of a Fallout-themed mobile game, it would just make sense to give fans a mobile game to help promote a whole new IP, because Fallout needs no promotion. The name Fallout promotes itself. So again, in this possibility, fans get two AAA games, even though Fallout 76 will be much smaller, and a multiplayer-focused game, and we will get the mobile game. Now, finally, the third and the last possibility for Bethesda Game Studios E3 is the question most of us have had for quite a while. Has Bethesda Game Studios had the time and the will to remaster Fallout 3? And I believe in some shape or form, they have. Whether it's a complete remaster, which is the least likely, or just some better graphics and textures and some extras, either way, I'd love to have it. So we have the possibility of getting up to two brand new AAA games, one new mobile game, and one new remaster. Now if we get both Fallout 76 and Starfield, then expect Fallout 76 to be released this summer in either July or the 1st of August, and Starfield 
to be in the last of October or first of November. If we only get Fallout 76, expect it to be in the fall in late October or early November. I would love to hear which possibility you think will turn out to be true tonight. To be honest, the more I think about it, the more I don't know which one I want to happen. Do I want Starfield if it means that Fallout 76 will be smaller and mostly multiplayer? Or do I just want them to wait on Starfield and to have put more time into Fallout 76, making it the best Fallout ever? Well, to answer that question, let me leave you guys with a warning and a huge piece of advice. Last year's E3 was ruined for most of us because we had our expectations set on something that was based mainly on supposed leaks, and we were all upset. It literally ruined E3 for most Bethesda fans. Now, Bethesda didn't do that. They never promised us Starfield, nor have they promised it this year. So why don't we just enjoy the showcase this year? I trust Bethesda will give us something great. If Fallout 76 is all they reveal tonight, then I'm going to be excited to learn more and to get ready to play it. My point is, Bethesda has always made incredible games, and they've always treated their fans pretty good. So let's give them some love this year, and just enjoy the show, and be excited for whatever they show. That's my two cents, and you know what? I promise you, you will be happier in life if you look at things that way. I want to thank you for stopping by the King's Corner. Remember, we are going live right after Bethesda Showcase tonight, and we will talk as long as y'all want, about everything that they showed us during E3. Also, remember to go check out my Patreon page. There's a lot of new content over there, and I would love for you to consider becoming a supporter of this channel. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, I have an E3 special running. It's free. All you got to do is hit that button. As I was uploading my video, literally uploading my video, this trailer came out. Todd Howard came out at Microsoft's conference and dropped this trailer and said that Fallout 76 is four times bigger. Four times bigger than Fallout 4. Now, does that mean no Starfield? Well, in what I was just saying, remember what I just said, that if they put that much extra time into Fallout 76 then I don't think we're getting Starfield. I hate to say that I don't think we're getting Starfield, but with this new trailer, that tends to be what it looks like. But we will see tonight. Instead of the way I normally leave you, I will leave you with this awesome trailer. Enjoy. I'll see you tonight. years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you. So that if the bombs do come, our way of life will endure. Almost heaven, West Virginia. Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is all there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like the breeze. Country roads, take me home to the place I belong. When the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. In Vault 76, our future begins. Yeah.